everyone, and welcome to this video song from the air video. My name is Jay Wakefield. Today is May the 1st, and in six days' time, the UK will actually be having a general election to choose a new government. Um, now, all of the Westminster parties are pro-austerity. Um, they've all kind of helped to hurt people with disabilities in one way or another, Labour started the whole thing by replacing inca incapacity benefit with them, employment support allowance and the work capability assessment. They were the ones who um, s started the ball rolling for DLA's replacement, which ultimately became PIP, which the sole purpose of PIP is to save money, not to help those with disabilities. Basically meaning that... Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, a lot of people who were um, eligible for disability living allowance will no longer for, be eligible for PIP. Obviously, the Conservatives have just kind of accelerated the whole thing and made it a lot more harsh and introduced things like the spare room subsidy, also known as a bedroom tax. And then the Liberal Democrats basically sold out to the Tories. And then you've got UKIP, Nigel Farage. Um, the racist party, basically, again, pro-austerity, kind of centre-right party. That's not what we need. No. What I'm voting for in Scotland is the Scottish National Party. Um, you know, and one day I hope that we do become independent. Because, you know, politics down south are very different to politics up north. Now, a lot of people have said to me over the past year, but gee, who on earth do you expect to manage as an independent country? Well, <clears throat> that is actually, um, that is actually uh, quite a good question. And um, the answer is, well, we pay more in tax per head than what they do down south. Plus, you know, we export a lot of things that actually make up money. Only one of which is oil. Can you guess what Scotland might export a lot of that people really enjoy today? Whiskey? Um, Scottish uh, food produce? Video games? Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> believe it or not, you know, yes, the answer is uh, we, we uh, have been known to export all three, but we export video games because um, one of the biggest franchises in video gaming, Grand Theft Auto, is owned by Rockstar. Now, uh, well, it's owned by Rockstar North, which is based in Edinburgh. Now, before they were bought out by Rockstar and became Rockstar North, that company was known as DMA Designs. And they were based in Dundee, which is not too far from where I am, actually. It's um, probably about an hour to an hour and a half by train from Aberdeen to Dundee. So, yeah, so about an hour and a half down the road was where some of the best video games were born, the original Grand Theft Auto. Now... We're going to play another game by DMA Design. This game is called Lemmings. Now, I do believe it, if it wasn't their first game, it was definitely one of their first. And it really put them on the map. Um, Stuart Chaffee says one of his favourite games is Lemmings for the Amiga 500. Well, today I'm going to play the DOS version. Now, I'm not going to play through all of it, but... I have been um, asked by Road Geek to um, kind of do a J plays on it, so I will. Let's start the game. When I start the game, it'll ask me um, what um, video adapter I want to use. One for VGA, two for EGA. This is a VGA graphics, so I'm going to select number one. I'm going to select for PC Compatibles. Now there's a couple options on here. PC Compatibles, High Performance PCs, an IBM PS2 machine, 
for an Amstrad PC 1640 or PC 1512 machine or I can just exit to DOS. Now you'd think that I would uh, select high performance PCs at this stage but unfortunately I've never been able to get that option to play nicely. So what I'm going to do is just have you know this Right. <clears throat> so, the object of the the object of the game is to get all the lemmings or as many lemmings as you can um, to the end of the level. It will usually be some sort of exit that they have to go through. Now, lemmings will just kind of wander back and forth, so you know you have to make it so that they actually reach the exit. Which basically means you'll have a few moves to do that. If you've got a burrow underground, you will actually have the means to do that. You'll have the means to build girders, should you need it. Um, you'll have the means to blow, um, blow part of the landscape up. And uh, you'll have means to be able to jump down from a height, as in an umbrella, to use it as a parachute. Um, you know, and, and things like that. Now, in each level, you'll be given a series of... You'll be given a number of uh, weapons, you know, in different quantities, based on, you know, what the task is that you've got to do. So, <laughs> in this task, I just literally have to burrow down. So, I have a... Um, I have some sort of um, burrowing tool. So what I can do, I've selected the I selected the burrowing tool, and I select a lemming. What I'm going to do, just to show you again, I select the tool, select a lemming. Now normally, like I said, I mean the one burrow would would be enough, but. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you for uh, the purposes of um, showing you how it's done. Now, what will happen is once all the lemmings have made it to the end, the level will finish. Now, on some levels, you will have to sacrifice some lemmings because one of the options is to use them as a block to stop them from going down holes. Um... But uh, here's my score. I rescued 100% uh, of the lemmings. I needed 10%. Superb. Um, you rescued every lemming on that level. Can you do it again? And it gives me an access code. You know, and I could write that down so that I could go straight back to the level. Now, this one does have a high, th a high drop on it. So I'm actually going to need to select the parachute tool. And as the lemmings actually come off the edge, I'm going to need to click each one in turn. Because if I don't, they'll, they'll actually just kind of fall to the ground and splat. And that'll be quite depressing. So hopefully you're getting the idea. Basically, I select which tool I want. I mean, it, it's not the most intuitive. It doesn't necessarily tell you which tool is which, but there are um, there's probably keys out there on the internet to kind of play it. <clears throat> and in the first few levels, you only get given the tool what you need, so you can actually learn them that way. That, that's how I did it. Once again, I've managed to rescue all of the lemmings. Um, Tailor made for blockers. Number of uh, lemmings, 50. 10% to be saved. Re um, release rate, 50. Time, 5 minutes. Rating, fun. Press the mouse button to continue. Right. In this one, I'm going to need to use a blocker. So, um, basically, the way that that works is... Because lemmings are stupid and will go backwards and forwards... You know, until until they reach a dead end. 
I have to um, I have to actually use these blockers to kind of make sure that they um, don't mess up. Right, I think that's uh, that should be absolutely fine. Um, do I need any umbrellas? No. Nope. But I will need another blocker there. Because otherwise I'll just kind of go down the hole. <clears throat> now you'll see with my um, well-placed blockers, at least I think they are anyway, um, you're actually getting the lemmings going down, hitting that blocker, jumping down there, hitting that one, hit that one, and then going down there, hitting that one, and then hitting the final one before going to um, the exit. Now, in newer versions of the game, this one doesn't seem to have it, but in newer versions, there is a fast-forward button. Um, so you can actually speed the whole thing up, you know, once once you've got it running like I have here. <clears throat> they did actually bring out a newer version for MS-DOS back in 1994. There's been all sorts of lemming games like Oh No More Lemmings, Christmas Edition, and goodness knows what else. Oh yeah, and this game is best enjoyed with a Scottish cup of tea. Level 4. Now use miners and climbers. So I need one lemming to burrow down, like this. And then once they get um, to here, I give them all climbing abilities. And now, there's, and now there's something odd about the way these lemmings are walking. Much more vertical than usual. Oh, I think a Pokemon just evolved, uh, leveled up. That's, that's brilliant, added. I love it when Pokemons level up. Actually, that was, uh, Right, so I've rescued all the lemmings. Right, you need bashers this time. Number of lemmings, uh, 50, 10% to be saved. Release rate 50 times 5 minutes. Um, rating fun. So, if I can remember what's done here. This, this is quite a difficult one. So, it's, it's basically a case of... Basically a case of got to bash my way through. And now I've lost a mouse pointer. That's just absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, and I'll have to bash through that kind of grid looking thing there, the blue thing. Looks like it's part of the backdrop, but actually isn't. So it's, it's really quite a bit of a sneaker Rooney thing. I'm not going to waste any energy bashing through this bit. What I am going to do, however, is... Right, now some of them... Obviously uh, migrating over to the other side. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wait until one of them comes back. And then they can actually start burrowing from this side in. Oh yeah, you, you've got to be careful because they'll just do a bit and then they'll run away. So they're successfully buried in, burrowed in at that side. I'm just going to... I'm still going to make a, a hole in this way though because I've already done it. <laughs> There's more places for them to go in, I guess.
<clears throat> this game is evil, I'll tell you now. Because what it does is it lulls you into a false sense of security. And it actually, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then the difficulty curve turns up. Right, I managed to get all 100% of the lemmings. Now, level 6. A task for blockers and bashers. Right. Right, that actually looks like uh, Mario. <laughs> it's really difficult. I don't. I don't actually know where the exit is. But I mean, with these bombs, you actually have to know when it's going to happen. Otherwise, you'll end up in a situation like this. So you think, oh, okay. Well, I know what I'll do. I'll get one really early on. Nope, that's not going to do it either. And of course now it's going to take longer for them to actually walk from uh, where they are because they've now got to go down and up to holes. Yep. And I think you kind of get the idea. Three, two, one. And now I'm just kind of burrowing, making things worse. So I think I'll restart that one. Three, two, one, go. I don't actually believe it um, hurts any of the lemmings. Two, one. <laughs> That's nearly, nearly managed. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. Excellent, I've done it. Obviously, a, a more skilled person than I would be able to get all of the lemmings there. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. But it is a puzzle game, but it's it's a very fun and addictive puzzle game. I mean, I said that I was going to be playing the last level. I said that, you know, that was going to be my last level a couple of levels ago, and now I'm kind of curious to see, you know, what's in store. But who'd have thought the same, the same game creation house that came up with this came up with a game, um, just came up with Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting a PC version. I mean, it's out now, but I'm just being able to get uh, money. Right, well, I've rescued 90% of the lemmings. Um, builders will help you here. Right, now, <clears throat> here is the, here's the builder one that I was talking about. Um, and this is actually not uh, actually really quite good because um, the builders will actually build. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> That's. Okay, well, I've done it wrong. What you can do, though. <clears throat> is you can actually build staircases on top of each other to make taller ones. <laughs> now that is a waste actually, so I'll restart that level. And I think I will probably make this my last level because I've, I've shown you, you know, at least some of what this game is capable of. 
So I'm just gonna select <coughs> the building tool and then probably add, all I need to do is probably go here. Excellent, it actually works. Right, so I'm going to need, <clears throat> I'm going to need the lemmings to actually, um, I'm actually going to need them to build over this. Yeah, you see now that is, yeah. But I think a lot of the lemmings are actually um, <clears throat> getting there. Probably use more staircases than what's necessary. I mean, I wouldn't have minded, but I don't think there was any blockers. You got these wee guys like in the hole going, What are you gonna do? <clears throat> Right. Oh yeah, now we're actually gonna blow them up. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Okay, so I've played enough levels for this, Jay plays. Now we're gonna quit the game. And I like this, because what you get is this wee message telling you that it's exiting lemons and to have a nice DOS. I like that. Exiting lemons, have a nice DOS. So, with that said, I'm gonna... I'm going to navigate back to the uh, root of the C drive and then exit back into Windows because I'm in Compact's rail mode. Uh, Rail mode for DOS compatibility, whatever it's called, the rail mode uh, environment that uh, Compaq have made, which is awful nice of them. Um, <clears throat> thanks, uh, thanks, people. Anyway, um, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and um, taking a look back into Scottish gaming past. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. And like Video Some Frontier on Facebook. And the URLs will follow. But in the meantime, thank you for having watched my video. And I hope you all join me for my next one. Goodbye. bye.